You are watching the tutorials for the May Silhouette Life Inspiration Box. And the tutorial that we're gonna work on right now is for the Super Dad Grilling Apron. So all the items that you'll need were in the May box. Um, if you didn't receive it, let me know. We may still have some extras that you can order. Um, if not, you can pick up similar items at a local craft store or online and then make it from there. Um, so the first thing you'll need from the box is the black full length bib apron. It's a poly cotton blend, so you'll need that. And then you'll need the two types of carbon fiber HTV from Chemica, so the white and the silver. Um, and those are the only three products you're gonna need from the box. So then we're gonna switch over to our computers and we're gonna design the cut file and go from there. Okay, so now I need to pull up the tutorial for the apron. So I have it on the photo and I clicked on the Google Drive file and I pull up here. Um, so we're gonna scroll down to the bottom to get the design that we want. So we have Super Dad, I'm gonna do SVG, download, and then just pull it over. So I'm gonna go back here, and we're gonna scroll up back to the beginning of the design. So here we go. Um, we have, this is from our exclusive design bundle from JSL Custom Creations. Um, we love using her files, they work out great. So we have it open and we're gonna size your page setup to fit the size of the HTV in the box. So 12 by seven and a half. Um, so I'm gonna do 12 by seven in here and that will just be safe. And then we are gonna have to probably cut with a cut cutting mat. Um, so that's what it's showing, but if you don't do it, make sure you do none. Um, and then <clears throat> you can do it that way. So, what you want, technically you can stop here and cut the design in just one color. So you could cut this all out in one color. Um, she said that wasn't good enough for her, so we ungrouped it and decided she wanted the inside of the text and the outside design in two different colors. So I'm gonna look back up at her, or at where it is and see what it looks like. The end, super dad. Um, I'm gonna do it just like hers to show you with the two. Um, so let's go back here. So we're gonna ungroup it. So you're gonna right click or go file, I mean edit. Nope, view, object, ungroup, there you go. Okay, so now we have two separate pieces and you can split them up accordingly. Um, so we're gonna go like this and we pulled off this part and this part. So she's gonna be cutting the black part of the design in silver and the gray part of the design in white. Um, so these are the two different pieces. So she, they are ready to cut at this point, but I'm going to line them up a little bit better on this sheet since I only have um, one. So basically what it would be since we're doing two colors is this one would be here and I'm going to open a new page to show you so we don't get confused. And it's 12 by 7 still. And I'm going to copy this and put it over here. So then... We have both of our settings the way we need them. Before I do anything else on this one, I'm going to save it. Super Dad Apron HTV May. I like to give myself some <laughs> clues so if I forget what it was for, that's what it's for. So now I have the two pages that we need. So we need to mirror them since they're HTV. So we're going to right click and do flip horizontally. So flip horizontally. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing to Super Dad. So we've done that. Now select like the color you want to cut first. So it just depends on your preference. Um, and then she talks about if you just want to move it off um, and bring it back onto the same sheet. We have two sheets. So I'm just going to leave it like that. She also talks about if you want to rotate it so you have room for um, your cut, your test cut. That is a good idea. So I'm going to do that. Not that she doesn't have good ideas. That sounded a little weird, but... Um, you know what I mean. I'm going to do the same thing here. And then there's room for the test cut. So now what you want to do is you're going to go to send. And you want heat transfer smooth. So right here. So we're going to do that on this page. And then, so it's a little thicker. So we need to accommodate for the thickness. So we bump the force up to 20 in, is what she said instead of 4. Um, but test your material again. Do a test cut. You can do that here. So 2820, um, and we have that page ready to click send once you're, of course, loaded and everything, but I'm gonna show you both of them. Click send here, HTV smooth, 
bump it up to 20, it saved it with the settings I had just done. And again, it's not showing cut, so you'll want to make sure you have cut on for both of them. Let's make sure this one cut. Okay, so now these are both ready to cut out. So we're going to switch over to our machine um, with the vinyl and go ahead and cut these out. Okay, we are ready to cut out the different pieces of the Super Dad apron. So I'm going to cut out the white first, and I'm doing both without a cut mat, but I have my settings to show that. So you're just going to load them both in um, one at a time and click send, and then we will weed both of them, and then I will show you how to put them together before we apply it to the apron. So let's take the white to show you how to do it. You'll do it the same way for both. You'll click load media. Make sure your settings are on the smooth HTV, but with the force difference. So to 820. I tested it. It worked for the koozie, so I'm going to keep it the same for this one. Um, and so we're just going to click send and then unload and do the same thing for the silver. Okay, so now we need to weed the white and the silver carbon fiber HTV. Um, I just have a weeding pick and I'm just going to slowly go around each edge um, and peel until I know that the letter is staying down. So like this T, um, or this D, I mean, in Super Dad does not want to stick, so you're going to have to be very careful um, as you do it. So I maybe did my blade on the wrong one. That would not be good. Um, so I'm going to slowly go through and try to do these, and then once they're weeded, we will put them together. All right, so now I have my apron out. Um, I'm probably going to do just a quick press of it to make sure I get some of these lines out from just being folded. Um, but then what you're going to do is you're going to line it up and the design is going to go probably wherever you want it. But really I'd put it right under this big thick section up here like she showed. And because we have a two color design, you only have, you can only do one at a time to start because of the carrier sheet. Um, so it's usually easier to start with kind of the background of it and then do the other letters on top. So it lines up right and you can make sure it's straight. So for me, that's my white section. So I'm going to line this up. And this is the same as the koozie, so about 300 to 320 degrees for about 15 to 20 seconds, and it's a cold peel. So make sure when you press this one, you let it cool completely. And then we're going to line up this other one right on top, um, of course, after you take off the carrier sheet. So I'm going to line up something like this. Um, she does talk in the tutorial, though, about if the HTV shrinks. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to press the first one. And then I will just videotape doing the second one. So that way you can see what that looks like. Um, so get your heat press or your iron set up. Um, make sure it's at the right temperature and you have enough pressure and heat um, and time to give it fully enough time to adhere. Also, anytime you're working with HTV, make sure that you don't have like any HTV scraps on your sheet that will adhere as well. So let's try that. My heat press is heated up or almost. Um, and then I will show you how to do the second part. Okay, so... Now we have this white design pressed. I'm going to peel off the carrier sheet. Um, like with any other HTV project, if this does not peel off and you're peeling up any of the vinyl, stop right away. So I am right there. So normally I would just stop because we're going to be pressing it again. I'm going to see if I can get any other section up. And maybe it's just, nope. Okay, so it's all peeling up. So press it some more. Um and then go again. So I'm gonna do another round of press and then I'll show you again and see if we can't get it to work then. Okay, so I have pressed again. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can peel it up now. And it's already peeling a lot easier, but my worry is all of these little sections, meaning all of the little lines on our super dad. Um, so be like very careful with the section in the A. It is peeling up better, so I think we're going to be okay to move on to the gray. As I say that, I peel up a section. So just go slow and see what you can't make work. Um, sorry, I'm concentrating. We're almost done, though with this. Okay, so I'm still having some trouble with a section of this sticking, um, but I got it off without ripping it or anything like that. So now it looks like this, if you can see it, super bad. And 
You don't need this carrier sheet anymore. So then you're going to take your other color of letters and you're just going to line it up right on top. Now she does talk about if your HDB shrinks in any form, um, you can cut up the letters and press them at their own, like a letter at a time. But mine looks like it stayed pretty good. Um, so I lined it up and it's lining up really nicely. So I'm actually going to do it on here and hope that I can get it just as nice. I'm always so afraid to do anything in my heat press when it's on because it's so hot. Um, but just line up your letters. I'm going to move this so you can really see. Nice view of my trash can. Um, but you want your letters to be right inside and just make sure you're taking a look at all of the little pieces inside and make sure that it looks like how you want it to. So that looks pretty good to me. I don't wanna mess with it too much. So now I'm gonna press it and then I'm gonna peel it up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so now I have both sections pressed. So our apron is finished. Don't tell them I put it on. So now you have your Super Dad apron with two colors of the carbon fiber HTV from the May Silhouette Life Inspiration Box. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching my channel and please subscribe. Thank you.